I'm here today to teach you guys a hockey session. Uh, don't worry if you've never played hockey before. That's why I'm here and I'm going to run you guys through some of the basic skills that we do in hockey. Um, so it should be nice and fun and easy. And if you didn't get my pre-video, uh, don't worry if you don't have any um, hockey equipment at home because there's plenty of household items that we can use instead. We'll just go over a few of the like hockey equipment things and some of the way that we play the game first, and then we'll get into a bit of a warm up to warm up our body um, and get our muscles activated. So this is this is a hockey stick for everyone who hasn't seen a hockey stick before. We've got a big hook which is at the end, and that goes on the ground. And then we've got a grip, which is where we put our hands. You'll also see with our hockey stick, we've got a curved side and a flat side. So the flat side is where we try and hit the ball um, because that helps us move the ball where we want it to go. So it's okay if you don't have a hockey stick today because you could use an umbrella, a really big umbrella works well. Or even a cricket bat can work well as well because there's a nice flat surface for you to be able to kick the ball um, or move the ball around. And then we also use like sort of this is a tennis ball, but we use a similar size ball in hockey as well, but it's a bit harder than a tennis ball. But we just use a tennis ball today. Or any other round ball that you might have. So I've got a few other balls. You might have like a massage ball um, that can work really well because it's round and it will move for you. Uh, or a whistle ball, so a ball that has holes. Um, or even a soccer ball. So because it's round, that will move. And that will be really good if you've got like a cricket bat as well because it's a big ball and a bigger bat. So you'll be able to move where you want it to go as well. How are you feeling? Good? Did I go too fast for anyone? Oh, good. Got some thumbs up. Awesome. Good work. All right. So um, before we fully get into the hockey, we're going to just do a bit of a warm up to move our body, get our muscles moving. So Megan, do you want to uh, put some fun music on for us? Um, and I will get started. No worries. So I'm just letting everyone know I'm about to put some music on. If you don't like loud noise or loud music, you can just turn your speakers down, okay? All right, it's going on now. Now to get to 
And we're seeing how you just do some pumps up in the air. Good. You can make a grown man cry. If you ever said goodbye. Now we are going to do some hip up to this and bring our hip up. You can make out. a grown man cry. And then back. If you ever lift my side, never let you go. Down. Down. Good. Up. My balance loves me some days, but not so much others. Good. If you ever left, never run, knock it. Lonely. Now it's gonna make me shake it out. Put me on the spot. If we're sitting down, just really moving and pumping your arms. Now we're going to do some sour jumps. Out. 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 And if we're sitting down, your arms up. Down. Five. In, out, in, out, in, two more. Awesome. How are you all feeling? Real nice and warm. I can feel my heart pumping. Good work. Toby's ready. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to do some hockey dribbling, all right? But before we do that, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to hold your stick. We all got our cricket bat or hockey stick or umbrella. Yeah, perfect. So we put our left hand at the top of the grip. And our right hand goes down the bottom. So if you have a cricket bat, this is always what it would look like. Or, You've got a hockey stick, which I can see a hockey stick there. Like at the top. And then the right hand down the bottom. Great. And we bend our knees, stick our bottom out, and put our hook on the ground. Awesome. Or if you've got an umbrella, we're going to try and hit the ball with this side. So we're going to do this pointy bit, we'll put our left hand there, and our right hand is sort of a quarter of the way down. And again, we put the handle on the ground, bend our knees, bottom out, sort of like we're sitting on the toilet. And that's sort of our hockey ready position. We're all ready to go. Awesome. Cool. To start with, we're going to do um, some dribbling. So dribbling in hockey is, is similar to basketball. It's when we move the ball from one spot to the next. Okay, so when we're walking or running with the ball. So today we're just going to walk. So we get our round ball. Come on, our round ball. Go ahead. Ball. Put that on the ground. Put our stick at the end. All right, and we're going to walk with our ball and see if we can keep it on the end of our hook or the end of our cricket bat or umbrella. We're just going to keep walking, practicing. It's sort of like we are walking our dog. We keep it out the side of our body. Yes. How do we all go with that? Good, cool. 
Yeah, perfect idea, Megan. If you are sitting down and you've got a partner there, we can try and push past to each other. That would be good. So when we push past, we have our uh, umbrella and ball, or hockey stick and ball, start together, and we sort of sweep like we are sweeping the floor. So try not and hit it. We don't want to do any big hits. We want to start with it on the ball. And we're going to push forward. Oh, I keep cutting my head off. Sorry. Cool. How's everyone going so far? Does anyone have any questions for Michaela on that one? No, everyone looks pretty happy, I think. Can we all see the ball when I'm doing things? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some dribbling and then we're going to do a push pass into our basket. So did we all bring a basket with us or a bucket? Something that we can lay on its side so we can shoot balls into it. I'll give you guys a, a minute to go find one if you forgot or you didn't know, that's fine. I think a few people are going to set one up now. Toby, you look pretty set up. Brinley, are you ready to go? Yep, thumbs up. Or well, not quite. Yep, yeah, awesome. I can't see anyone else, but if you if you have a question for Michaela about how we can change the activity to help with you doing it or if you're happy doing it that's fine just let us know that's perfect so what we're going to do we're going to start with the going to have some hockey stars. Awesome. Now we're going to try that a few more times. Now we're ready. Moving forward. Starting with the other the ball and then up where we're going so we don't crash into anything and then push into the basket. One more. Dribbling. Keep your on our stick. Big step and push. Good. Who got three out of three? What you are in here. Oh, Brindley got three. I can see that. Carol, how did you two go? Awesome. Three. I don't need any kids. <laughs> Close. <laughs> awesome. How did my iPad, iPad crew go? Any good? Oh, I'm not sure if it's. We might not be able to see them. That's all right. We'll keep going. All good. Cool. All right. Now we're going to, you can see, I've, I've got little obstacles. So I actually put little ushies down on the ground. Um, so you might have a shoe um, or even a cone would be great. Anything that you can put on the ground. And we're going to try and go around them and then have a shot. 
All right. All right, we'll see how we go. Around. See how we go again. Inside of our basket, feet, step, and push. How did everyone go with that? A little bit more challenging. And Michaela, if we're not up to doing that yet, we can just work on the other couple of activities as well, can't we? Of course, of course. We can just practice some, some shooting or passing to a friend or a partner. Um, or we can just do some straight dribbling, which is what we did before. And that's fine. This one was a bit of a challenge. It was a harder one. Now we're going to play another game. You may have heard this one before. It's um, a basketball game, um, but we're going to do it with hockey. So it's called horse. So you need to um, stand in front of your basket or your goal, maybe about a metre away, um, and we're going to push the ball into the goal. And if we get that in, that means we got the letter H. Um, so then we take another step back and we try and get that one in. And if we get that in, then we've got the letter O. We're trying to spell horse. So you've got five different levels. Now, it's okay if you don't get past the first one. It's taken me a lot of years to get to the whole uh, word, which is horse, which is five. All right, do we all want to give that one a go? Bit of a challenge. Oh, there's a few thumbs up, all ready to go. Awesome. All right, we're going to start with H. Close about a meter away, ball and stick together, bending your knees, and then do a few steps forward and push into the goal. How did we go with that one? That's okay, we can get another go and see if we can get it in another time. With a lot of these goal shooting things, we need to practice. It takes a lot of practice. Oh, all right. Now we're going to see if we can do the second one, which is the letter O. So we're going to do two big steps from our goal and we're going to see if we can put that one in. So from our goal, we're going to Stand side on, big step, and push. I'm in. Can get my ball. Try again. One step, two step. Side on, bending our knees. We don't hurt our back. Big step, push. And my thumbs out again. <laughs> Too many obstacles. So for people who have never played hockey before or seen a game, there's a goalkeeper, sort of like soccer, um, but in hockey, they actually wear lots of padded clothing to protect themselves, so to, to make them feel safe so that they don't hurt themselves yeah. when the ball comes. Every other question? Oh, I think we should maybe take our microphones off mute for a second and give Michaela a big clap for her session today. She did a really, really good job. So if you're ready, to take our microphones off and do a big clap. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. Big clap. Well done, Michaela. <laughs> Thank you, guys. 